Cool, so now you uh, have your 3D photos looping back and forth. What's up guys, Travis Colbert here from The Buff Nerds. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create and shoot 3D photos. Let's get it. Two different ways that I shoot 3D photos. The first way is very simple. All you need is a DSLR. What I do is I turn that DSLR into burst mode and I set my subject. As I set my subject, I'm gonna shoot four different photos and slightly moving for each of the photos. So I just hold down the shutter, just Once I have my four photos, I'm gonna drag and drop those into Premiere Pro onto a timeline. Each of the photos are three frames long. This is very important when creating your timeline. You want them all to be the same length. Now I'm gonna copy and paste those four photos again creating a nested sequence with those four photos. Now on the nested sequence, we're gonna change the speed and duration to reverse speed, causing a looping effect on the timeline. And we're gonna remove the first three frames from the nested sequence and scoot that on over. Now we're gonna copy and paste four more photos onto the timeline and we're gonna remove the first photo from those new selected photos. As you can see here, everything's looping. Now select the last three photos in the nested sequence and copy and paste it. I copy and paste it for about 10 seconds. The final step is adding some texture to your 3D photos using a DSLR. What I use is Tropic Colors 35 millimeter film grain. It gives it a nice textured look, almost uh, as if you actually shot it on 35 millimeter film. It's very easy to use, you just drag and drop onto your timeline. From here, we're gonna go into the effects controls and scale the film grain to match the same width and height. Now we're gonna go to the opacity and change to overlay on the blend mode, or you can also use soft light. In this case, we're gonna use overlay. Boom, that's how you create 3D photos using the DSLR. The other way to shoot 3D photos is with a camera like this. This is the Nashika N8000. I can attach the link below, um, but it basically has four different lenses that shoots four different photos at the same exact time, just slightly different angles. Uh, I always recommend people using a flash with this camera. It helps bring your subject off the background, and it does take 35 millimeter film. So once you get your photos developed, you're gonna wanna bring four of the photos into Photoshop and layer them on top of each other. As you can see here, I use the same photo of Kyle four different times. They're all four different angles. Next, we're gonna wanna rotate this image 90 degrees clockwise. And then from here, I'm gonna crop the image, removing the dead space. Now we have four layers. The bottom layer is one, layer two, layer three, and layer four. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hide everything but layer four and layer one. We're gonna change the opacity on layer four down to 43%. You can be between 40 to 50%, but we're gonna find one point as the point I used was Kyle's eyeball. Uh, there was a little light that I used as the mark or reference point. Um, we're gonna unhide layer three now and change the opacity down. Use that same light in his eye and match it up um, for the next layer. Then we're gonna unhide that one, change the opacity back. We're gonna go down to layer number two, change it down to 43%, and we're gonna choose that same light in his eye and match that one up. Now we're gonna change the opacity back and unhide all of those layers. Next, we're gonna crop out the overlapping layers. Perfect, from here, I created a new frame animation down below. And I choose my frame rate to be 0.13 seconds. And I'm gonna copy this six times onto the timeline. The first one, we're gonna to wanna to hide everything but the fourth layer. We're gonna to move to frame two, hide everything but the third layer. Frame three, hide everything but the second layer. Frame four, everything but the first layer. Frame five, everything but the second layer. And frame six, everything but the third layer. 
Cool, so now you uh, have your 3D photos looping back and forth. We're gonna wanna select all of these and copy and paste those down onto the timeline. And now we're gonna render that video out. Now let's jump over to Premiere and add the final touches to the video. In Kyle's 3D uh, promo that I created for him, I used a uh, font pack from Tropicolor called the Animated Font Pack. Um, as you can see here, it's super easy to use, just drag and drop. I'm gonna change the opacity down to screen, change the scale a bit, and then just position it to where I want it to go. You're gonna do this for all the letters, so right here you can see I spell out Kyle. Cool, now my 3D animation of Kyle is complete. That's it guys, very simple to do. Very simple to create 3D photos. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna be doing weekly tutorials on the Buff Nerds channel, so please like and subscribe, and comment below what you would like me to touch on next week and teach you guys. Uh, looking forward to it, see you next time, peace.